Hello and welcome to Elementary STEM. Today we are going to be doing a paper bridge challenge. Now this one is different than ones we've done in the past because your bridge needs to be 12 inches long, but you may only use two sheets of, I have scrap paper that I'm using, and our scrap paper is only 11 inches long. So how are we going to make a 12 inch bridge when your pieces of paper are only 11 inches long? That's the challenge. You can't use any tape for this, but you can use scissors. And I encourage you to think about ways we've built bridges in the past that may help you. Your bridge also needs to be supported so that it is at least two inches off from the surface of the table or the floor that you're building on. So what I've done ahead of time is I built some ends to my bridges out of snap cubes. Now I don't have my students start their supports outside the edges. I have them start them right here and put the other one right here and they even lay it down on the table so that they can show me that it is exactly 12 inches across so that I know that we're doing this fairly. There are a little bit of hints in the instructions, so I'm gonna read those and it might give you some ideas about how to build this bridge. They say, while paper may not seem like the strongest material, there are many ways you can use it to build a sturdy bridge. Some ideas you might consider include rolling up a piece of paper into a cylinder, using origami to turn a piece of paper into a box, or folding paper into an accordion shape and whatever other creative ideas you can come up with. As you brainstorm and design, keep in mind that your bridge should be at least two inches above the surface you build it on and at least 12 inches long. Now each time you test the bridge, if you decide that you like the design or you need to improve the design, remember to start off again with two fresh pieces of paper because once this paper bends and no longer supports the weight, it has that fold in it and it will be very likely to fold again in that place much easier this time. You always want stiff paper. Um, once the paper folds, it doesn't it loses its stiffness and it's not as effective of a bridge anymore. So get fresh paper and between each design, you can test as many different bridge designs as you want, but each design can only use two sheets of paper. All right, interesting challenge. We had a lot of fun with it. I hope you do too.